Welcome to the Journeyman Guitarist. Let's talk horse meat. And I'm not talking Vion Chevalier or French steak. What I'm talking about is PRS horse meat, the transparent overdrive pedal that came out last year. Uh, I recently received some pedals from PRS to uh, incorporate into my new recording project that I've been working on for a while. And I was going to do all three of them in one video. I was just going to do the, the, the flanger, the compressor, and the horse meat. But then when I started digging into the pedals, I realized that each pedal really deserved its own little segment. And the first one I want to start out with is uh, the horse meat. Um, I'm a big Marshall guy. Marshall Sounds, Marshall Amp. And I use a lot of different amps, you know. I've got an old Bassman. I use a Magnetone. I use a... An old Fender Tweed, uh, the Lurks head, obviously, but the Lurks is very based on that classic Marshall tone. But today, I'm, I, I, I wanted to use the amp that I record the most, which is uh, my old uh, Super Lead 120 modded by Mark Cameron. Uh, I think it's a 1975, 76, something like that. It's 75. It's a four-holer, so it's a 75. So anyway, um, and normally, I run uh, a two-stage gain setup so i like to run my amp on the edge of breakup and then i want for a nice chunky rhythm sound i want something variable that i can that i can uh add to it in the first stage of, of gain so it would be the amp itself on the edge of breakup and then add usually the clon centaur uh which is kind of you know it, it just takes it over the edge and tightens up the low end a bit and makes it a little gutsy and then i like to add the analog man king of tone over the top and it gives me a lot of flexibility i'm going to demonstrate that right now by starting with this is the guitar uh straight to the marshall uh mic'd up with a 57 and a 421 through Vintech mic pre's summed up into a channel in pro tools uh i have an iso box outside uh that's uh, got uh four 25 watt greenbacks for all of us nerd type people that would be interested in those kind of nerdy details but anyway i run uh, the guitar as a prs uh, joe walsh model uh it's kind of a 594 uh kind of tricked out to joe walsh's spec it's very 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 nice one of my favorite guitars so i thought i would bring this in today because it's really kind of got that classic classic 70s sound that i really like so this is the guitar straight to the amp or <laughs> i say straight to the amp but always run through the gig rig g3 either the atom or the g2 as a switching system so that i can mix and match and make and mess and do all the things so anyway here it is straight through the g3 which doesn't color the sound at all um to the amp <laughs> Now the beauty of that is, is as I back off the volume pedal, or employ the split on the PRS, it kind of cleans up. But it's a good tight tone straight to the amp and that's the way i usually set up uh when i was touring the lurks that's the way i'd set that up um and when i was uh, touring in, in porcupine tree i would always set my marshals maybe actually okay i admit i might have set them a little heavier but uh it was a heavier gig all right so uh i what i've done is i've set the horse meat with a, a very similar settings uh that i would set up on the clon um and it's got a few more a few more knobs on it that does a few more things this actually has a bass knob so you can dial in some more low end i've got the gain on the horse meat very low because i just want a little bit i just want it to take it over the top but if you'll notice i'm running the level past 12 o'clock because this this box has a lot of level a lot of gain and i want to use that level to hit the front end instead of using the distortion part of it or the gain part of it initially so in in this particular setting so here's it to the amp so if i add in the horse meat it takes it up to here
pretty meaty, you have to admit. But it's really tame. Um, you know, going back to the old classic, kind of almost an ACDC kind of sound. Maybe a little more gained out than an ACDC sound. Maybe somewhere that uh, Angus might go for a solo sound. This is a great rhythm sound. You know, if I was doing uh, the gig I'm touring with now, uh, the Vertical Horizon gig, and here's the beauty i'm working the volume pedal just like you would work the uh volume on your guitar and i can clean it up a little bit in okay it sounds great obviously so that's the setting that I would use um, now that's not all the box does um, the horse meat is set to work with many style of player a lot of guys uh, run uh, a really super clean sound and they want to use their distortion as a means to get, uh, to source their gain from. Th they don't have any edge on their amp at all. And it can do that. I'm not set up to do that right now. What I'm demoing is the way I would use the pedal. Now, having said that, I want to try a couple things. So I'm going to show you the stages. Like for example, if I was playing um, a cleaner section, I could bring in the diamond memory lane. I've got the horse meat standard, and this is the two of them together. If I wanted to clean it up for another part, like. right up. that guts to it, but with a really tight low end. And you can do this, uh, you know, there's so many great amps for not a ton of cash. One of my particular favorites, I really love the PRS, uh, the MT-15, the Mark Tremonti I think it's the MT-15. Yeah, the MT-15. I really love that head. And one of these days I'm gonna do a little demo on it. But I'm, I'm envisioning, you know, running into a, a, a local gig where you've just got a small pedal board, maybe the horse meat, a delay. Oh, shit, just the horse meat and a delay. I said a bad word. But yes, just maybe the horse meat, the delay and the MT-15. Throw it on anybody's cabinet and, uh, and you're gonna have a, a, an amazing guitar sound. And one of the other reasons I really like this pedal is I know the quality of the build. I've used PRS guitars for a long time and I know Paul doesn't mess around. And when you're doing club gigs, whether or you're, you know, it's at home and you got your, your I don't know, maybe your dog stepping on your pedals, <laughs> it's good to have quality. So I wanna do something real quick. I wanna take this and I wanna use it uh, exactly like I would do it 
uh, in a solo section. So uh, I would have the horse meat going maybe like this. <laughs> Now, how about this? How about we change the gain setting of the horse meat, go super gain, and try a solo section like that. <laughs> Okay, so that was the horse meat and the diamond lane, and that's it. So you could actually have your amp, like, again, maybe a little PRS MT-15, really good chunky sound, throw a volume pedal in there for changing the, the amount of gain you get, chuck the horse meat on top of it, and it's gonna sound really killer. Again, there's a 100,000 different applications and ways you can turn the knobs. I just wanted to show you the way I would do it with the kind of amps I run and the kind of sounds that I like to play. I hope this helped. Uh, again, the markets, it, the marketplace is full out there. There's amazing uh, pedals all over. But if you want to, you know, if you want to get something you know that's going to work really good right out of the box, I have to recommend the PRS Horse Meat. I hope this helped. Uh, like, subscribe, send it to your friends, and uh, more gear and talk and stuff coming up soon. Thank you very much. Journeyman Guitarist, signing out.